leading with the good stuff. Uh, I can barely even wrap my head around the fact that this happened today, that this was the same day Matt Wallner made his major league debut. Matt Wallner hit a home run, his first major league home run. It was off Shane Bieber, of all pitchers as well. Guy pitching great. Uh, amazing, amazing to see this from Matt Wallner. And, you know, we will be keeping a keen eye on the Twins of the future going forward because today was not an amazing day for the Twins. Uh, Louis Varlin back out there for his second Major League start. You know, debuted in that great outing at Yankee Stadium. Did not pitch as well today, but certainly, you know, some things to build on. Uh, there was a nice double play there by Miranda and Correa. And, you know, with Varlin, it's all about just gaining experience at the Major League level. Uh, unfortunately, the Twins lost game one, five to one. That Matt Walner homer was the only home run that they had. There you see Varlin working out of a bases loaded jam there. And in the second game, the Twins were getting clobbered, uh, but came back. Gio Urshela with a two-run single, a guy who's kind of been the uh, one consistent guy stepping up at big spots. And then Nick Gordon with a huge game-tying two-run home run with two outs making it 5-5 in the top of the eighth inning. And just, you know, much like the story of the 2022 AL Central that I've been more affectionately calling the Turd Derby, nobody wanted to win this one. We go to the top of the 13th, and it's still 5-5. Nick Gordon drives in the go-ahead run with a sack fly. And you kind of hope, okay, there, there's where it'll end. Nope, Cleveland ties it up with a two-out single. And then here in the bottom of the 15th, the game mercifully ends with a Jermaine Palacios error at shortstop. This is over. It's over. The game is over. The doubleheader sweep is over. The division is over, essentially, for the Twins. Any hope for the Twins is done. They've lost eight straight games against Cleveland. Oh, my God. Trevor Larnick was playing outfield and got a single in St. Paul. He did only play seven innings in this one, but encouraging neither Jorge Polanco nor Ryan Jeffers played in this game for the Saints, but Jake Rucker did. Here you see Jake Rucker, a guy who was called up all the way from Cedar Rapids. You know, their season ended yesterday, and with all the kind of crazy stuff going on with how many injuries the Twins have had and guys getting called up, um, the Saints could use an extra guy. Rucker is pretty flexible in terms of defense. Uh, and he hits a game-tying home run. Uh, guy's really not even supposed to be there. It's a game-tying home run in the seventh inning here. Great to see out of him. Jake Rucker, a seventh-round pick last year in 2021 out of Tennessee. And that score held into the bottom of the ninth inning. John Andrioli walks. He advances all the way to third base on an Aaron pickoff throw. And who's at the plate? It's Jake Rucker, and he ends a very long plate appearance. This was a really impressive plate appearance. He ends it with a walk-off sacrifice fly. What a way to make your AAA debut. What a way for him to continue his season. You know, doesn't even have a name on the back of his jersey. That's how new he was to the St. Paul clubhouse. Walks it off. Amazing to see out of him a nice story. Wish you'd have some nice minor league stories at the very least as we close out the year here. And Rucker getting it done for the Saints is certainly one of them. Wichita played two games as well today. And here in game one, Alex Isola in the top of the seventh hits a go-ahead home run for the wind surge in this weird Midland Stadium. Where the bullpens are like built in after the fact. And Isola is one of the guys among the Twins who are going to be participating in the Arizona Fall League. There's a roster up there. Um, you know, guessing he's probably going to be catching a lot. He hasn't caught a lot really this year. A lot of the AFL now is for guys who are just going to work on stuff or get more plate appearances or innings. Anyway, into the bottom of the seventh and Blaine Enlow on the mound. Single, single, the game tying single, no outs. And then he uncorks a wild pitch that Isola, who was catching today, couldn't keep in front of him. That's it. Walk off wild pitch. Just like the big club. <laughs> Brooks Lee got called up to Wichita. This surprised me. Um, you know, Cedar Rapids season is over. I figured they would just send him, you know, and he would have fall instructs and, you know, kind of wrap things up. But uh, he had joined the wind surge and he did go 0 for 3 at the plate. 
But here he is making a play at shortstop with Austin Martin at second. Edward Julian was the DH in this one. And then they did combine on a double play here. The next batter up. That's Martin flipping to Lee. Lee making the nice turn. You can see the Windsurge are down nine to nothing here with two out in the sixth inning. Uh, good news, Austin Martin hits a ball with authority that scores a run, uh, ends the shutout. But bad news, with two outs, down nine runs, he tries to stretch that into a triple. Which obviously, there's just no point in doing that. Um, so hopefully that's a good teachable moment for Austin here that, you know, what are you, what are you trying to prove here? <laughs> anyway, more great news, Fort Myers. No, actually, no. Their season is over. They had an elimination game against Dunedin, but Dunedin prevailed the Blue Jays affiliate in the Florida State League. Three to one. Uh, the Mighty Muscles only score one run. Their season is now over. Tanner Schobel, the 68th overall pick in this year's draft, had two hits for Fort Myers. They only struck out three times, and they scored one run. I feel like that's a very difficult thing to do these days. Um, anyway, Jordan Carr was a starter. Uh, but Andrew Morris, fourth-round pick of this year's draft, uh, threw three shutout innings, only one strikeout, but uh, good to see out of him. Thank you so much to all the members, but especially the premium members and everybody just for watching on through this video. I'm going to bed. We'll talk again soon. <laughs>